So as I mentioned earlier, I was very fortunate that during my international career, I've had two captains and both of them in their own right, very different leaders, but were just exceptional hockey players, exceptional people, legends of our game, huge names. Um, And so I think when I became captain, I knew instantly that if I tried to replicate them, then I would fail because I just can't. I I wasn't them. Um, So I knew from the start that I had to kind of lead my own way and find my own feet. Um, So I think that was the first thing that I was conscious of, um, was to try and just be my authentic self. And I kind of went back to in our our squad, it kind of was a vote process and, and, and the women that voted for you would give a reason. So I would then go back to those reasons that people have put me in this role for and 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 read those and that then gave me um a lot of insight into what the women on our program valued from me as a leader and that was just me as an authentic holly I guess and so I didn't want to stray too far um from that uh so that was I guess my foundation and starting point and then I just tried to I mean I'm still learning on the job right now um definitely still a leader in development I think as as many people are um but just trying to to learn and new situations come up all the time and I mean the pandemic was one example um that there was no one really to turn to of who could help me and advise me on how to lead a squad virtually that was separate training for Olympic Games um and so just being agile enough I guess um constantly wanting to learn reflecting on how you can do things better um, so I guess that was the only change in my mindset was I was on a, another learning journey as well as being an athlete and wanting to improve there. I had another journey to go on as well. Um, and I think I just felt a bit more responsibility for everyone um, and for the whole squad. Um, but I did try and try and keep authentically to myself and, and how I lead and why I was put in that position in the first place.